Essentially, what this, what you can see here, see here, this is not the king lion, something of so its time. It was taken, I think, a couple of, you can see things are progressing very quickly. So keep in mind that we located um, some previous instruments. I'm not going to extend on this. It's the result of many years of process. The first light instruments are going to be focusing on the very center, one multi-object mode and a mini multi-IFU mode that if you look in, in front, the arrival of the light from the telescope here, well, if you look here at the total volume, you look, correct me if I'm wrong, so this means that possibly you can. One of the main difficulties is centric, so this means that in the focal plane, you have positioners. If you are an astronomer, you and locate, uh, to be defined, a number of fibers close to, uh, this is uh, covering all the, the full wavelength domain, as I said, and you will be also able to locate a certain number of mini IFUs I'm in this field of view. This is a vehicle of mosaic. Possibly this is something that you, you want to know as well, is that in the, uh, I'm sorry, in the mini IFU mode only, in, okay, just a set of observations, we are now trying to determine which are the, summarizing the top level requirements of mosaic and in high multiplex capability at, uh, between 5,480 objects at the time. Some of these, uh, <laughs> some of these values are uh, still under discussion and in particular, let's move on. It is so important. Uh, if you compare Mosaic with other available facilities, see Mosaic here in this patch, it will be the largest field of view available at the, view, at, the, at, the, at the ELT. This is a log scale, okay? So much above all the other instruments of the ELT, okay? And of course, with a decent spatial resolution, okay? So in this respect, Mosaic moderate spectral resolution and also the only one providing a large patrol field that is so big, uh, enabled to cover as, uh, as essentially a very large field of view. So Mosaic is optimized to provide high-speed survey and also to provide high surface brightness sensitivity for faint sources. In other words, this is precisely what you need when you want space missions and ground-based experiments that you all know that will uh, identify very nice, very important uh, targets to, like the GWST, of an instrument like Mosaic. If I convince you a little bit more about the unique capabilities of Mosaic, let me just show this graph. This graph shows the ELT will be located and Mosaic will be located, identified in a four meter, uh, four, uh, 30, ah, sorry, 39 meter telescope. Um, let me just uh, explain a little bit how the, what is the project status right now, uh, this summer. And the consortium is made by joining the, the DC Ford um, because they are interested. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, surveys, as we will see in a moment. More about the status next year. This is uh, at least my, my idea, optimistic idea. Um, Faces around this, around this room, co uh, project scientists, scientist, Miriam, uh, system engineer, uh, level, uh, the breakdown of the heat perfectly well. Well, some numbers here, um, the cost uh, to um, complete this budget, not yet complete, we have more than 700 here, F so it will be more than that, possibly. So we are have at, at least the same order of magnitude, meaning that we will have, we expect, more than 130 or something nights about. I think more groups are, uh, as I said here, organized in this way. We have Milky Way, a uh, local universe here, at least these three are uh, letting parent surveys that are being proposed by the science working groups. And the book, and the surveys will be organized for science projects with Mathieu, so I'm just going to change the slide side. Thank you, Rosaire. So we'll take over and uh, I'm going to give you so the mosaic, of course, because you, you've seen the, what is the, the, the expectation 50 people uh, doing. And there is one in the room. So thank you to several uh, science working groups, the coordinators of the different corresponding science working groups. Okay, so let's start with the first uh, science case, starting from the very distant universe, uh, with uh, the uh, Loma graph on spectroscopy. Uh, so really, this is the limit of the current generation to count the number of spectral resolution to do that, which cannot be done with the JWSB or S frame uh, uh, spectra of this of this galaxy. So what you need is massive scale rest frame UV spectroscopy uh, uh, to be to be. Uh, moving at a spectral resolution of at least four, five thousand, which won't be able again 
with a, with a, so again, a proto cluster, whatever we call them, over densities, let's say, at this, at this epoch. So here there is obviously a strong synergy with, uh, with uh, SK, which we're also looking at the origin of the radiation field. In the in distant galaxies, we are detecting emission lines with our, which are stronger than we will be, uh, we should have actually. So, and uh, look, so measuring uh, very faint emission lines, which will be otherwise uh, inaccessible. Three-ish or something like that. In the three different phases, so the first one will be looking at these different metals. What is the fraction of dark matter? I will detail this a little bit more in a few. And, and then, uh, what is it is going on with? This is done for uh, quite some time now in the local universe using, in particular, uh, H1, H1 data. So you know this is on some dark matter because what we expect from the visible through these uh, kinematic measurements. So this is the local universe. You see, uh, look at the extension at the, uh, this measurement and hence the presence of a significant fraction of dark matter in these local galaxies. In the distant universe, this is the best you can do to do with it, This requires a signif very significant amount of time. It's on barely reaching the galaxies and really have. A so for this, we need, this is a, an example of simulation we've been doing for, for Mosaic. To be, uh, to be sure that we can uh, resolve the shape of this uh, rotation with a large enough uh, field of view per galaxy, so something at least two arcs ago, varying the uh, spatial, say, the fraction at which we can carry four times this, uh, this extension. Okay. Uh, so we've been looking to the content of dark matter. For this science case, there are other measurements we like to do with mosaics as of uh, your sample uh, large volume of the, the universe, uh, you'll be able to reconstruct this tomography. So the red uh, regions here are the denser uh, regions in terms of cold gas uh, megaparsec uh, in distant galaxies. Half on the, on the VLT, for instance, uh, such terra to have different by different biases, uh, etc. A large samples and really with mosaic we want to assemble samples to do so. So the spatial scale again is 150 mass. It's relatively coarser, I would say, compared to what other instruments on the on the ELT will be able to do, in particular harmony. But really our intention here is to be optimized for the surface brightness sensitivity, while harmony will look at uh, you know uh, properties at the diffraction limit of the telescope. So we really push in terms of uh, of a spatial uh, resolution while being a lower my shift and how this, this evolved into the clusters we know. Uh, uh, quite uh, original uh, ID, so you perhaps you know very cosmological parameters at the density of uh, mass, uh, etc. And so the uh, physics, so apologies in advance, it is not my science at all. So uh, I hope I won't be saying any different histories, but in a larger sample of galaxies with more representative histories, uh, of, the, of the different uh, galaxy wavelength ranges uh, to get uh, as many lines of chemical tagging to be, uh, and if you have this, you are able to. So this is the first, the first goal, the second, and measure more precise uh, abundances for this specific, uh, which uh, tells you with the risk you could resolve the group and possibly even the, 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 the Virgo cluster, so with a lot of We, uh, other, uh, other idea it will be to probe low metallicity stars, uh, galaxy bulges to understand uh, the different sequence turn of stars to be able to have much larger samples than what we can do uh, today. Uh, larger samples and better disentangle the different uh, at, uh, with other instruments, which will be able to look at more uh, the most dense uh, regions uh, more uh, more accurately. So harmony. Last one, the idea is a little bit different. The idea is to look at given the instrument we will have, what we can do in terms of transients and multimissage. So the idea is to look at what Mosaic could do to, uh, at the same time, identify the electromagnetic counterparts, electromagnetic counterparts and identify the, 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 the... OK, I think I'm done.
Hello? Okay, you can hear me. But more boring stuff in respect to the beautiful images. What will be the what is the current uh, implementation for scene for mosaic? So here you have mosaic on the on the platform, the latest latest implementation. The beam is entering in this direction, and you have birds uh, and positioner to catch the, the targets. And around uh, the field of view, there is uh, some um, some room for laser guy stars, this blue box here, so four laser guy stars. We have the optical relay for the IFU on this side and perhaps this, this uh, structure, the, the targets. So you have some uh, hundred, one ton, one hundred kilo, some hundred kilo, one ton or two ton or whatever, uh, to rotate very precisely and smoothly to keep the target aligned on a following, uh, following oh, dead, back, back, <laughs> like the phoenix, <laughs> following the, the, the telescope field of view, and it's very precise and very complex to, uh, to, uh, for this system. And so you have all the cables and fibers on the back of this, uh, of this system, with the derotator, cable derotator, what we call, so we need to have all, all these cables on the edge to the two visible spectrograph, and uh, all that, the, the weight of all that we anticipate is something like 40 tons. So it's a big, big uh, instrument, heavy instrument, and currently we are discussing with ESO or we will end the rotating plat uh, system with a, a platform and here you can see a, a man on this platform. So big structure. So um, now I would go to, through the organigram, the timeline and the uh, small focus on the Brazil participation in contribution anticipated. So we have the two PI and co-PI bodies here on the top. We have the two boards, here the mosaic boards where uh, Beatrice sits uh, as a, all the, the core of the instrument, as a system engineer, the project scientist, instrument scientist, uh, so um, system engineer Miriam Rodriguez, Ruben Sanchez, Sanchez instrument scientist, Gavin Dalton as, as architect, and PIQA uh, with Frank. So the, the core, the running of the instrument, development of the instrument, uh, the, of the, and uh, we have a link obviously with science, with the system. The slide from a, for again from a project office has a direct view on this work package. So it's, it's some work package at instrument level, control of the instrument, so the structure, uh, all the system on the attached to the rotating uh, structure. Uh, so we have the focal plane. So where the robot, later on that, optical relay to go to the bundle. And we have an, uh, the last channel, with, which is not really a, a product, the visible channel, the near, the Calimos, etc., 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 at system level, subsystem level, and module level in, in chi, inside each subsystem. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it's because the acceptance taking the opportunity to use clusters and the other channels needs a bit more time to find the cluster. It's uh, uh, we need art to spend money and a lot of money. So and we we'll need <laughs> so it's uh, we need to go fast to uh, to be able to do that. And so it's what we call long lead item long lead item FDR. So, so means some some element we need a bit more time to be for the manufacturing, so we need to start them at that time in order to, to have uh, the instrument integration in Europe. Okay, so now to the Brazil contribution, so in this package for us, it's why we are here today and we will continue to, uh, to work with the uh, fiber is not able to follow the object. In fact, the flux all for uh, precise, we can write a work package and uh, this will be a developer, your main contribution. So all we will hear. Thank you very much for all the speakers.
uh, book is recorded and it will be available in YouTube. The first question I have is what? So, uh, ICOS uh, core of core structure. In fact, it, it, it was but okay. All, all right. the instrument core system. Core system. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, what uh, kind of uh, fiber positioner are you going to use? Okay. It's uh, okay. We are using uh, um, uh, and perhaps even we not position the fibers on the top of the robot but to have a beam enter, uh, going through the robot and have the fiber on the back of the robot, which is better because you, uh, you, do, you don't have the fiber going. Uh, Beginning, the co of course, we will have a drop in the, um, in the efficiency, but it's the limit of the telescope. Measured fraction of dark matter will be far less, probably less than point <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You have to imagine that the, uh, we have three not really, uh, it's not the same playscape or playscape of the LT. At least one thing where we are lucky. The of the, the working groups, it covers essentially everything in a <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, The thing is, uh, when you see a project like this, which after the essence of serendipity. Uh, yeah, so what, you know, identify the science we would like to do. So of course, the science we can anticipate and be flowed down to, to specifications or transformational, whatever is the, the right ad adjective, in terms of science presentation, we are starting to try to emphasize what is really... It's, it's a good thing to distinguish what is uh, really transformational from incremental, but it doesn't mean, we have to keep in mind, it doesn't mean that what is incremental is not uh, product specification, etc. We also, what we call, uh, we, we what from a discussion with ESO, so for example, the capability to have parallel observations, the capability in the infrared to have all, all the three bands at the same time. If we were really uh, strict uh, about what the science team is telling us, we won't have this today. It's of, uh, of requirements. You, you wanted to... Just, uh, to yeah, sure. yeah, just uh, I want to add something. No, no. No, but I completely, I completely agree with what you said, uh, of course. But uh, also, um, you... I, I, in, in my last slide, I, I uh, included this uh, standard project as well, a standard project as well at, the, at the end. This means that we are completely open to new science that will appear between now and when the, when the design in the, um, at the end, <laughs> when you start the GTO, you have, taken, you have been taking into account everything that goes in addition, not in addition, but new things that appear. And at the end, finally, the, the discoveries and the I mean, the major science was, is not necessarily the one that we foresee uh, 10 years before. So I, I completely agree. I completely agree with what Matthew said. Is that right? On this, the, the survey won't be the the stars and galaxies, mm -hmm. and because this it can trace the absorption of the diffuse of EBF, the extragalactic background light, is uh, to probe the, uh, what is going to be the degree of uh, precision. The what is the year of precision? Not been papers on these studies. Yeah, and, and <laughs> participate also in the science working group one. I'm sure it is feasible and feasible in, the t in time. But all these projects that are very important and that the Do you have this evaluation already? No, no, no. The, this group is really uh, uh, my, my two cents. But, uh <laughs> well, this, is right. the very, this is a very new science working group. Yeah. Uh, only questions. <laughs> we have work to do uh, back. Uh, the mirror, right? Some at, if I'm taking change. Exactly the question. <laughs> uh, the, I as fast as I, say, I said before, but it's still under discussion. So Thanks to Lex, Lex Kapper uh, pushing a lot. So it is nicknamed uh, Lex Kapper problem at ISO because he was the one pushing very hard for this. The front end with them at some point. But uh, apparently, uh, our, our, uh, let's say, our exchanges in this respect, uh, it is not possible at the moment. It will make them wait actually for us. So, you know. She's is about the cable, the rotator. So, <laughs> uh, electrical, yeah, yeah. And, uh, whatever, yeah. And what's the solution that uh, will be uh, applied to the own and come back to the to the to the other connector? This is classical. You can find on many many. Uh, sure that, for example, single stellar population models that we use for the local universe can work in high redshift or something like that.
can ask question and if we could contribute a little bit better uh, to this project, to this in, in a lower redshift and also much better uh, single stellar population, so basic building blocks of this set. But it's something that will for sure um, have a, a big contribution. So you are completely right. Yeah. The, the working group three is actually working on it and mines and continuum, fitting the continuum to the stellar populations. Three, so that's incredible if you think. We will finish the broadcast here. Maybe 10 minutes. And thank you for your questions. It helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you.